Like you and I would have a mutual dislike for people. One of those people in particular is Kiss Kavon. Yeah, I'm super excited about having um, Joy come on so that, you know, she can speak her truth. I know that I saw the videos about, you know, how well that, you know, you praised Ace Haru, but I'm just gonna let you know, I'm not gonna give away the interview too much, but everything isn't as it seems with Ace Haru. And just like you called it on um, Young Pharaoh, you know, I think you'll be changing your tune about Ace Haru as well. Um, I'm definitely down to come on and do an interview with you. Um, not a problem at all, but just tune into this interview because you're going to get a lot of uh, pertinent information. Um, and it's going to be some things revealed about Young Pharaoh as well that hasn't been revealed. Uh oh, facts. I already know you're gonna go in on that one, yo. And and like I say, I'm I'm humble. I'm appreciative, but I'm you know more humble than anything. Just to know that you have you know been watching the videos or at least seen a video, you know. So I'm definitely looking forward to building with you too. Uh, like I say, uh, the main thing with him was this high value man, and you know him speaking about high value man and me knowing that Pharaoh wouldn't want. So yeah, this should be pretty interesting. I was saying at the end that it's going to be things revealed about him that has not been um, revealed yet. But as far as Kiss Cavelli, yeah, I can't stand that bitch. She fake as fuck. She's an attention seeker, cloud chaser, and she's the type of woman who literally sat there and recorded phone conversations between her and I. And um, I know for a fact that she was upset with me because um, I did, you know, finally have intimacy with young Pharaoh. And that was something that she wanted all of this time. And basically, he rejected her. And um, pretty much, he definitely rejected her in Houston when she came to the Houston event. And so that's why she took out or lashed out um, about lashed out on me and was really upset that, you know, we were intimate and she didn't get Well, I will say this off the record and hopefully this doesn't come outside of our conversation, but Ace Heru is definitely not a high value man, okay? And I've learned this, you know, after doing after the fact of doing my interview with Ace Heru, after the fact of really, you know, um, being in close proximity with Pharaoh, with Ace Heru, with Joy, and that sort of thing, um, how I found out about your content is this young lady right here, Joy. She actually sent me over your content because she had been watching your content, and especially the content that you had about Ace Heru, um, which, you know, she wanted to speak out about that. And, um, you know, me and her are really close. We're kind of like, I, I feel like she's like my spiritual sister. So like, you know, that's why she agreed to do this interview and to break her silence, you know, with me. Okay, bet. Okay, like, like all this right here is a surprise to me. I guess a big surprise, you know, being that everything else is going on right now. So yeah, I definitely want to know what she got to say about this situation because I was questioning who she was when I seen her on the video uh, with Pharaoh at the pool party. And as far as the kiss bra, yeah, she do stuff like that. She's a clown. She's interconnected with all of this bull too, okay? Because uh, keep in mind that Tasha K said that she wanted to interview the T, interview the T about Sweet Ma for life. And that's how Kiss Cavalli come in because Kiss Cavalli was with the group of girls uh, that was going against me because I was going at Nature Boy. See how that worked? I think we exposed so much 
that people didn't know and also the fact that um yp has a warrant out for his arrest too right now i did put the case number and everything up there so people can look and check it out if they would like but we damn near exposed every fucking thing his eating habits right down to how he treat people right down to the fact that he really did um um beat up kamel and and golden and all of that i know i know that man very well six years of knowing that man very well if he does respond it is just going to be him cussing you out he's very narcissistic very egotistical and um he's definitely not going to respond and if he does it's going to be negative but yes he does have a warrant out for his arrest right now ace heyru filed charges against him for terroristic threats i'm still sitting here thinking right now about all of this stuff right here <laughs> about all of it and i appreciate the shout out as well You see, I've been knowing all of this stuff um, for a very long time. And you know, I honestly kept quiet, you know, for a while and really didn't, you know, tell the full details. I only kind of stuck to, you know, how YP did me. Um, but yeah, this was the first time that AC had um, went to Florida. This was the very first time um, that he went to Florida because, you know, he moved back home now. But, um, yeah, this was the first time AC got scared, went to the police. Um, and after he went to the police and everything, he took a trip to Florida. And then he came back to Texas to um, stay with his woman for two weeks and just basically. And yeah, AC basically just freeloaded off of his woman the whole time. She spent thousands of dollars helping him, you know, remove that wrap off of his car. She paid his car note for two months and everything. And he's no different from Pharaoh, yo. He may be a little bit more spiritual than Pharaoh, but that nigga don't build no legacies. Don't do nothing that he claims to do in his book. He's a fraud, too. I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm fluid at this point. <laughs> I'm fluid. Yeah, Goddess J, she blew me away. Like, I'm, I'm for real. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still saying, shaking my head at some shit. I mean, this is no secret. In the very beginning of me and YP meeting each other, um, yes, absolutely, he wanted me. And um, I was interested in him too as well. However, I started to see the way that um, YP was moving as far as with his women and things like that. And um, we hadn't been intimate or anything like that. We just, you know, would talk and he would express his interest in me. Um, but when I seen that, like how he was moving, I told him like, nah, I'm older than you. You're younger than me. We're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna operate on a friend level. And that's what we did for, for all of these years. You know what I mean? We just, you know, we just operated on the friend level. We definitely gonna have to build. <laughs> we gonna have to build. Yeah, so he and I, we didn't have sex or anything until um, this past April. This a past April was our first time. 
um, that we actually um, had sexual relations. And at that time, I had just broken up with my dude. So I was a little um, crushed about it. And he and Golden had just broken up too as well. And um, he was over my house and uh, we both talking about our relationship shit. We're drinking, we're smoking weed, we're, you know, just chilling. And that's how we wind up being intimate. Um, but that was the only time that, you know, he and I took it there. After that, I told him that I felt bad and that I would very much show love for us to um, not go any further and to um, to go back to, to being friends. You know what I mean? So... I moved to Houston because of Young Pharaoh. Um, we were working on a couple business ventures together. We have been talking about um, building up Ad Nation for three years. And um, how did you feel at the time when you seen the other women that was around him when he was partying, turning up like the Martina? Um, I met Martina. Uh, I had met her. So, yeah, like after the fact, um, and I seen him tricking on all these girls and doing all this shit, I didn't feel no kind of way. Like, honestly, I did feel a little um, betrayed by the fact that I moved out here and um, he didn't he didn't basically employ me, like he said, and he didn't pay the fifteen hundred dollar rent that he said he was going to do. Um, so I was, you know. I, was, I felt betrayed by that shit. I really did. I'm not going to lie. But I didn't feel no kind of way about the girls because, like I said, I didn't have um, a mindset of, like, intimacy with Pharaoh. I knew what kind of dude he was and how he moved with his women already. And so I didn't really feel, like, any kind of way. I'm the one who told him after sex that I, I felt bad that... I felt bad that he and I had crossed that line after we did it, and so that's why I had told him, you know, let's just go back to being friends type thing. And uh, honestly, I think he felt some type of way that I did have a man too um, when I moved here, and that could have played a lot of part in it, because if you go back, I did post, you know, a video um, on my social media page where YP was there at my housewarming with my man, with my dude that I was seeing. Because I didn't know who the hell that she was You know what I'm saying And it's like she was saying Why am I conflicted And as I explained about You know being conflicted With the whole situation Because I didn't know Whether or not If I wanted to simply Interview the lady Or go live and interview her Now you tell Goddess Jay That I didn't recognize Who she were And that that was uh, My fault You know Tell her to um, DM me Because I don't, I don't I don't see her name On my little block list Okay, she just uh, looked back at my message. I sent her a message and uh, she responded as well. I didn't know who she was.
It is. Keep that motherfucking heat on their ass. <laughs> Keep that heat on their ass, yo. So his lame ass don't know that you actually know Pharaoh. They did me like this. They did so many other people like this, not just me. So many others. Mr. Marquisio Watson. His name on here is Tony, so I don't even know what's to do with that. Um, ain't that world news? Ain't that him? Ain't this world news? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's them eyebrows. Yeah, that's him. That's him. So this is um, Marquisio. And now, what I went is I went and looked up uh, Mr. Marquisio Watson. We do have his birthday, but I found 91, not one, not two, but I found 91 court records for Mr. Marquisio Watson. So let's actually look through the court records and there's that date of birth right there pisces we know that's his date of birth uh february 25th 1978 he already has confirmed um he is the pisces this is his birth date um he this is his place of residence uh in north carolina and just oh one more thing in case he tries to um you know disclaim someone discredit someone you know this um that's a mug shot there and so yeah let's let's just let's let's pay attention to this and we'll you can find more pictures online please just trust me put in the name a lot is going to come up with this picture attached but i want to focus on this the 91 records y'all not one, not two, not even five, not even 20, y'all. Okay, robbery with a dangerous weapon. And I don't even know if we can hear more details. Let me see. We may, we may not be able to. Sometimes it should be just bullshit. And it won't take us into everything. It's going to take too long to do that. So listen, let's just look through. Yeah, I am in a hurry. Let's go back. All right, so robbery with a dangerous weapon, another robbery. So these have the same case numbers. So obviously they're the same case, 108, 108, you know, ending in 108. So the same thing, robbery with a dangerous weapon. There's another 108, possession of Schedule 2. Another 108, robbery with a dangerous weapon. Um, you know, those are all affiliated. Here's a different case, 807, carrying a concealed weapon. Uh, at least his brother carry guns, you know what I'm saying? We need to get back to carrying guns. But he also likes to carry cocaine. Uh, this was in 96, his charges for felony possession of cocaine. Um, this is again 96, more to do with the cocaine. Um, you know, more cocaine. We don't know. This man might be taking cocaine. We don't know. And so he didn't learn his lesson. Um, he also was violating his probation from uh, the last armed robbery that he had. Um, there he is driving vehicles with no license. This man works hard, y'all. He claims to be putting in work on mine. He putting in work, but he didn't have a driver's license. That was a 97. Do you even have a license now? There you are, 98, resisting a public officer. Um, second degree trespass in 98. Come on, this is all Marquisio Watson, Mr. Good Old Boy Marquisio. Uh, possession of marijuana in 98. Um, robbery with a dangerous weapon again. You know what I'm saying? You just, you a little hard headed motherfucker. You hard headed as fuck. And then, um, you also injured someone in the robbery. That shows what kind of motherfucker you are. You didn't injure somebody in the robbery. Still walking around. I'm still scrolling down his court record, y'all. 
possession. This is in 2004. It's still going on. It seems like whenever he gets out, there he go, that little hard-headed ass motherfucker Pisces going right back. So 2004, possession of firearm by a felon, uh, resisting another police officer. Boy, see, mm, mm, mm. you got to quit resisting arrest. All right, when, especially when you're involved in shit that um, you know you shouldn't be doing. Reckless driving with disregard. You didn't give a fuck who you killed. If it was a kid, a woman, you know what I'm saying? You didn't give a damn. You also didn't stop at the stop sign, the flashing red light. Uh, oh, that's because you were fleeing and eluding arrest in 2004. So you didn't really probably try to outrun the police. You didn't heed to the light. Yep, yeah, there it is. I, I'm just telling you, this is the kind of nigga that y'all listening to online. And he want to talk about nature, boy. I, I looked up the Lyo Bishop's criminal record shit. It was one shit on there compared to this shit. Fuck nature. Let's look at how you can get 91 different court records. You racking it up. You one of the first black men I know that can be in and out of jail this many times. I don't know. Are you a snitch? I don't even know. You didn't heed the light or the siren. You know what I'm saying? You outran the police. That was in 2004. You're still carrying guns. Um, that, that, that didn't ever change. Let's see what else is going on. 04, that's, that's all the shit in 04. Resisting a public officer. That's one of your favorite things. You gon', you gon' know if they ever, um, get a hold of Mr. Marquisio, um, he gon' definitely resist arrest and try to fight the police so um that's in 04 let's see resisting a public officer now it's gonna be really getting um pretty good okay so that's all the same stuff reckless driving again uh you know that's all associated let's keep scrolling mr watson and see what else we can possibly find? This, this is a lot, boy. Shit, they got you for all in red lights. They wanted to smack every charge on you that they could. They got every fucking thing. Um, yeah, you did some time for that. I think on your Twitter, which I have that too, it said you did um, eight years. So I don't know if this was eight years for the first shit you did or was the eight years for this um this second bullshit here but let's let's go look at what else um you had got yourself into there that's in 2005 and oh my god i mean world come on world news now bro now you seem to be a little bit intelligent but is that another charge in 2005 is that yet another robbery with a dangerous weapon in 2005? Mm, mm, mm. You still being a hard head. Oh, now let's look at this. So along with the robbery with a dangerous weapon, you also were charged with second degree kidnapping. So you can probably have some motherfucking hostages. You holding people hostage. You got kidnap charges and shit. Oh my God, you got a hit and run. Failure to stop. So even in this, oh, you didn't outran the police. <laughs> you didn't outran the police again. Armed robbery, 2005. You keep, my thing is, how are you, how are you constantly going? in and out of jail because i mean you didn't outran the police kidnap motherfuckers Ro i even thought armed robbery was like at least 20 years minimum but you still fucking out which that shit don't sit right with me it don't sit right with me that you've been in and out of prison and jail this many times for some of these different things and you actually injured motherfuckers and stuff. And you didn't do any really hard bids. You didn't really do any hard bids. 
you know that's actually where i'm where i'm from that's like an actual sign of a snitch when you're able to get in and out of um in and out of jails and shit like that um that's a sign of a snitch because it's some, it's some snitches where i'm from and that's kind of some of the shit they do is they go in out of jail they tell on people you know what i mean and they get out and so um you know are you a snitch because you you really want to talk about my thin hair but it's some real stuff on here that um that we need to be talking about you know what i'm saying mr mr antron mr antron watson you know how many names how many names is is you gonna have like oh oh there's one let's see there's the whole name so y'all can just know i'm making this shit up mr marquisio watson uh failure to comply so yeah you 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 pretty much a con artist you have no feeling no emotion you're probably a narcissist at this point you've been in and out of prison so many times you're uh you know you are more than likely working in connection with nature boy and let me let you know something motherfucker this right here is for you muting my mic muting my mic like a bitch being manipulative like the person that you are muting my mic so you could speak over me the one who ever so claims to be the protector of black women you muted my mic so that you could talk over me and attempt to talk down at me and talk about my looks and my hair i'm so serious right now and the reason that i'm trying to figure it out you know because after all of the information was presented after all of the damn sympathy talking shit you know trying to you know get motherfuckers to you know just release all they damn heartstrings and shit you know after all of this you know uh, this person did this and, and, and this person did that and all of that it's crazy because you know they still feel some kind of way one minute you supposed to be addressing some stuff or whatever. Like I said, you don't have to come out here and address me. You have to address your subscribers. You gotta address your subscribers, shorty. You got to talk to them. So before you start making videos talking about stuff, you know, that's inaccurate. Uh, there was nothing that was uh, inaccurate, man. Uh, because you stated all of this stuff. You the one that put all this stuff out here. I didn't say none of this stuff. I see when I start hitting people up, you know, and when they start speaking on it, you see exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Because no one came out here and attacked you. Uh, we tried to give you the benefit of the doubt, you know, based off of Goddess J. You feel me? We made an attempt to. But uh, that you tell it, you supposed to be going live and addressing some stuff. If it's anything that you supposed to be addressing right now, it don't even supposed to be online. It's supposed to be offline. You supposed to be trying to get your shit together. Uh, if you don't went through all this stuff that you say that you went through, my thing is, how you gonna jump from A to R? Now you supposed to be out here addressing King World. Let me tell you, right? My channel don't consist of people like yourself. And the reason it don't consist, you know, of people like yourself, because I already know, you know what I'm saying, the type of shit that you... I already know how you coming. I know how you coming. But see, you know, we ain't even gonna, we ain't even gonna do it like that. And the reason that we not gonna do it like that, because you'll be the first one out here hollering and stuff, talking about you know, some man uh, is attacking you and, and all of this shit or whatever. No, ain't, no, ain't nobody attacking you. Mm-mm. Nobody's attacking you. Hey, peace. Peace, peace. Indeed. 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 Yeah, I'm just, you know, I have to just chill for a minute. And if you like to, you know, situation you can't the catalia situation because it's weird to me and i don't want her thinking oh i'm just out here attacking you or whatever right i think that sometimes what people miss especially when they're in the conversation on social media is how social media works any other day she or anybody else on social media there's things that are put online and they talk about it 
they have discussions about it. That's how it works. So she's a YouTuber. That's also what she is doing. So I find it funny that you have questions, valid questions, from someone that is on social media, on YouTube, saying things, and now you have to basically be attacked because you have very valid questions. I think that that's weird. If you're going to be online and you're going to be asking people for help, and not just a little bit of help, you're asking people that <laughs> watch you on your social media to give up thousands of dollars. Not just like, oh, I need 200 You're asking people for thousands of dollars, okay? And people can't ask you questions about what that is, like what's going on with that. That that's weird, and I think that that's disconnected and delusional. I also, you, you, if you want to do that, then you should be able to put up with whatever questions are going to come to you because social media people, whatever people hear on social media or on YouTube or whatever, they ask questions. But you're going to get more questions because you ask the people to buy you a whole bunch of cars. <laughs> like, I don't know why you think people ain't going to ask questions. The whole car, the whole car. An entire car Not hey uh, You know If you guys can You know Support me You know I got a new job Hopefully you guys Can you know Get me an Uber Or whatever Or at least I can try to work For three days Or what not You know Because I You know I have to go to work But let her tell it That the Uber cost Is high In Texas Where she stay at As if No Uber Like as if All motherfucking Ubers Are not fucking expensive But she's saying Oh that would have been $15 One way So do you think The $15 One way And then back the other way Which is $30 You think that might have Hurt a motherfucker more You know what I'm saying Than her You know Asking and expecting A whole fucking car Worth of cash out That's weird Life. And here's the thing, when when typically when people get into issues or troubles or whatever, right, they go to the people closest to them for help, right, right? for at least the main stuff. So it's like, you know, the big shit, I got somebody else helping me with, but some of this other small stuff, like maybe some gas or whatever, whatever you guys can do to help, whatever you can do to contribute, I'll be grateful for my crash app is right here. And that's just what it is. But oh, she's being very specific. I need like two thousand dollars so I can get me another car. And you're asking for this the same day or the day after the car is stolen. That's already weird. That's already weird. Right. Because your car can turn up. So why are people gonna buy you a whole new car? And we haven't even found out the status of your old car. This is not 1982. That's facts. You don't fucking work like that. And I'm not even saying that the woman is lying. But if you're going to come to social media with a story like this and ask for people to buy you a whole new car because you're asking we the people, right, to give you this money, people should be able to ask you question that they need to ask you concerning the issue. Nobody's asking you personal questions about who you fucking and who you laying up with. No, you ask for $2,000 to get a car, ma'am. Uh, this is weird. So I got like 15 questions for you concerning why you need this motherfucking money and why you need it from the people online and why you need it so quickly. Right, why you need it so quickly. And, and, and my first thought, you know, after I sit back and I process the whole situation, I say, oh, okay, well, I guess she just, you know, uh, parked her car over her, ate, you know, her friend's house, you know, and then she tried to hurry up and then play with the, my whip got stolen in order to get the money to be able to pay that note. That's what I think the fuck happened, to be honest with you. That's what I think would happen. And if that is not what the fuck that happened, if that's not the case, then she would have came out, you know, then she would have clarified that. But I just want to make this known, you know, although we're doing commentary on this, uh, Catalia, uh, you don't owe uh, me any, 
You know what I'm saying? Excuse whatsoever. You you owe it to your subscribers who you basically right. tried to manipulate and to get to purchase you a fucking car like you doing some out of this world fucking shit online that a motherfucker tuning into that's engaged, that's entertained. If that's the case, why you just ain't said what you had to say about Ace and about Pharaoh? Why is that a continuous thing? Why you couldn't just say it all at one time? You see how Right, right, and that's, I mean, and you're right, like, nobody can really say, you know, that it's true or not true, but at the end of the day, it does not seem consistent with what she is saying, and that is just the truth, and, you know, at the end of the day, if she even looks back at it, she, you know, hopefully she would say, well, you know, I guess it does make sense that if I'm saying it like this, or maybe I just presented my story, well, maybe she could just come back in a different way. Because the way that it's being presented right now, I'm sorry, baby, it just seems a little strange. It does. You Indeed. understand? Let me, let, I mean, like, let me I, add, I ain't got no issue with you, but it seems weird. Now, let me, <laughs> add, let me add one other thing. Now, the day that the car allegedly was taken, moved from the apartment complex, you know, of course, you know, she asked for the motherfucking cash app but the thing that got me was even when she was talking about you know the money the cash out help me get a car the first fucking day is weird as fucks that she'll be like oh i gotta go smoke she was high when she was talking then but then she said she had to go smoke again so what got you to the point that you gotta smoke so much okay what 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 happened because before the event, you was high then. So, and, and I was just sitting there peeping it like, okay, all right, well, you feeling it, you vibing and all this whole other shit. But then, uh, boom, we see like a, a damn near a little crack in the fucking door wedged and shit. The damn flathead screwdriver and shit and shut the door and made that motherfucker mark. You know, I'm up on game now. I'm street like motherfucker. You know, that's what it appeared to be to me. It didn't look as if that it was somewhat of a forced entry because a forced entry definitely would have alerted people that was inside the house okay right and right. then and then what she don't get what she don't understand and yes catalia i do got them receipts too okay because uh for all that shit that you claim that's happened it's kind of weird for all that stuff that have happened that day when your ass was online oh uh, Oh, 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 so, so when you was online, so, so when did it happen? Cause you, you was online, remember? You know, anybody can go back and look at the videos and just count down the hours from when you had went live three days ago and clearly see that your ass was online. So how did somebody steal your car? How did they steal your car? Huh? That's, that's weird to me. Well, and then I have a, I have a couple of technical questions, right? Because, okay, when she first did the first video, when um, she was announcing that her car was stolen and she was outside waiting for the police with her son. One thing that I felt was a little strange was that she was very quick on that particular video to make accusations. Right. At the gate. All right. Now, you know that by the time you streamed the second one, she was saying she didn't really know. She was going kind of in and out. It could be him and it could not be him. Right. But on that very first one, she was very definite. This is who he is. This is the story he is. This is what his name is. Exactly. This is why I so that was the first strange thing. So I'm like, why would you go straight to him? Number one, I don't care how weird this dude is. I don't care what he, it is he's doing. For him to risk it all, to come to your house, to just take a key and drive off with your vehicle, it don't make sense. And then, and I then, and then, and, and, no and, and it definitely ain't no benefit, but then at the same time, you gotta question yourself, you know, who, I mean, who is moving like a ninja to have did that stuff right there? Like, how did that happen? And then, this how she fucked up the whole lie, because her dumb ass gonna sit and say, oh, I woke up the next morning, and that's when I noticed that my key was missed. Oh, so you didn't notice your motherfucking door ajar? So in other words, what you saying is, the motherfucker used a flathead, a flathead screwdriver on your apartment door, uh, opened the motherfucker, grabbed your keys, and well, it's late, and I don't want nobody to just, you know, walk up in here and stuff. So I'm gonna secure the door back as I'm walking out, and I'm gonna lock the door back too. See, she didn't, she didn't think to add that part, and I'm like, okay, so then what happened? 
when you first woke up. You mean to tell me that once your keys are gone, which she recanted the story again and then said, oh, well, uh, my son must took my car. He take my car all the time. I said, ah, there it is. There it is. Right. So if he take your car all the time, why when he was sitting on the porch and walking around and shit when the police came up with that story that you had rehearsed with you and your son, you rehearsed that story. That why he the hell away from that shit. He wasn't even, he wasn't even trying to sit there with right. that. He knew that was the game. Right. He knew that was game. Somebody, because think about it too. If you think about the type of type of car that she has, let's just even take it away from it being um uh fairy, right? It, it, let's just say it's not him. The kind of car she has is not the car that people are looking for to no. steal or to put back on no. market. It's no. not even that type of car, baby. So there's nothing nobody can do with that type of car. Number one is too new. Okay? Right. So right. people are it's not even and then the type of car it is, it's not even a car that somebody is going to buy off of someone in that type of field. Okay? They're not buying those type of cars, so that don't make sense. If somebody now if somebody knows you and they're trying to get back at you, the way that they would actually get back at you is they would damage the vehicle that you're making payments on. Mm. Right. That would make more sense than trying to take the car that's going to be discovered because we already know that it, uh, these cars all have chips in them. They're, they can be easily found, which is why most of the time, if you look it up, oh, most no. of the cars that are stolen are not these type of cars. They're old Hondas. Right. Come on, man. It ain't this type of car. It's not no damn. But, but, but hold know? on. But hold on, though, Cody. When you say all of that stuff right there, I want you to think about something, though. Now, this is, you know, something that took place, you know, with a 40-year-old, over 40-year-old woman that moved from California all the way to Texas to be with somebody that's like 25 or 26 years old, okay? So now, view the situation for what it's worth. You see, see, things ain't too stable. The same guy that's holding his hand up like he gay blade as a motherfucker every time he hears some shit. You saying that that's the person that, you know, persuaded, manipulated you, that coerced you for a business deal. But then later you say that you fucked him though. Oh, OK. That makes sense. That, that makes a lot of sense. First, first, it was just business. So what kind of business? What kind of cootie you got, girl? What kind, what, what kind of cootie you got? Because evidently your cootie ain't too motherfucking good. If ain't man one of them niggas out there trying to help you and your shit done got stolen, you came straight to social media with that shit. You didn't come to social media, you know, to stake the people that you weren't going to be on here only because of the situation and what took place. No, you disclosed all of that information. That's what you did. Right. Oh, uh -huh. right. Right, and then, like, it's not even a situation to where it's like, because she keeps saying she just got a job, right? Right. I'm just trying, like, me as a woman, a working woman, even in the type of situation like that, I'm going to tell you right now, if that happened to me right now, and let, that, let's just say I didn't have the money, I would be on public trip to go to work. You want to know why? Because even if I get another car... Right, because that two thousand dollars that you're talking about is only a down payment because you're talking about your credit score, right? So you're not talking because I, I mean I'm still trying to think about the fact that the car that you had, you probably were making payments on it anyways, right? So are you now debt for the remaining of the balance of that car? Okay, you got that. Then you want two thousand dollars. This has to be for a down payment for a new car, which means you have to make payments. Means you have to have a job because they're not going to. I don't care what your credit score. You have to be able to pay for this car, meaning you have to prove that you have a greater income coming in that's going to be able to take. So the first thing I would think of is lose my damn job. So I'm going to hop on the bus. I'm going to hop on the bus. It don't matter what it is, because that $200 you got the bank can get you a bus card for at least 30 days. So at least you can take your ass to work. Think about it, yo. But it, you've been online, so did right. you just let your job go? Right. Yeah. That's where I'm going with it. Uh -huh. Because you keep that, oh, well, I just got a job. Yeah. You keep class online. How you online? I'm talking about, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, y'all. I've been online because I've had to ride the fucking bus to get to work because I don't have a car. See, it's not vital to have a car to go to work. If you got the job, you'll be able to get another fucking car. That's See, a, with no problem. If you lose the job, then you out of it completely. 
But you know, we, we know, you know what I'm saying, she gonna be up out of, you know what I'm saying, the thing completely, you know what I'm saying, if she lost the job, but the job wasn't of grave importance, she had continued to remind us that she had a job, okay? So when she kept saying all this stuff about she got a job, and this, this, and this and that, okay, you didn't sound too enthused about having a job. You didn't go into describing what the job was and stuff, but you became very, you became very descriptive when it came down to Ace Haru, a man that you didn't even have a sexual relationship with. You knew a whole damn lot about, you know, a person that, you know, you never been with, but at the same time, you didn't give us any information.